Hello, I'm Emmanuel, and this is Kitchen Ordinaire. I love playing around in the kitchen, having a good time while putting together simple but delicious meals that don't break the bank. So let's cook dinner together and have some fun! Hello everybody! Today we're making Guinness braised beef short ribs. We're gonna need some beef short ribs. We also get to play with bacon! That's right. And of course we're gonna be using our trusty cast iron Dutch oven. Yay! All right, so what are we working with? We've got some celery, we've got some carrots, garlic. Uh, I'm missing one thing. Oh yeah, sweet onion. I keep it down there. Uh-oh. I don't have any sweet onion. No big deal, dude. We got some red onion. Check that out. That's going to work just as well. You can relax. Jeez, had me scare there for a second. Okay, so we're going to crush some garlic. We're going to just crush it. And then time for the bacon. All right, in the cast iron oven it goes. And uh, you could chop it up in advance, make more even pieces, I guess. I'm just doing it like that. I'm reserving the bacon fat. Uh, and then in that I'm going to saute the, uh, the vegetables. I've got my uh, celery, onion, and uh, carrot, garlic, there you go. Stir that up. Uh, salt and pepper. And while that goes, we're going to coarsely chop the bacon. I'm going to reserve everything in this bowl. And uh, now it's going to be time to go to work on the short ribs. So what we need to do is salt and pepper on both sides and then lightly cover them up with some flour. I've got a third of a cup here. I'm not even going to use half of that. So you really don't need a whole lot of flour. On both sides, a very light touch. The flour is going to help. Uh, two things. It's going to thicken the sauce a little bit. It's also going to uh, just seal in the uh, the short rib juices as they cook. Salt, pepper, repeat the process. Now it's ready to go. And we're going to sear the short ribs in the Dutch oven. I'm using a little bit more of that bacon fat, just a touch. Don't need to go crazy. And then we're going to do this in batches because we're going to need to be able to Move the pieces around. <laughs> don't drop that, dude. I swear to God, don't put it on the floor, man. Okay. So, turn them around so that they're brown on all sides. I've got two cups of uh, beef stock going there. The usual, just two cups of water and two teaspoons of beef bouillon, super easy. That's going to be the base for my sauce. All right, everything is brown here. I'm going to do the second batch. Turn them around. Yeah, they're like little bricks of beefy goodness, so you want to make sure you got them on all sides. And the bowl that goes. And we'll do the rest of them when it's all done. I'm going to be placing them on the bottom of the Dutch oven with the bone side down. So uh, check out one of these uh, short ribs. They look like this. Let's do a close-up, dude. That's right. See, you've got the you've got the bone on the bottom. You've got the it's like a a square. I don't want to say hockey puck, but it's yes, it's a square of beefy goodness. So there they go at the bottom, the the bone on the bottom, and try to make it all fit. And then the vegetables go on top, and we're gonna need our braising liquid. The good stuff. Guinness. The best beer in the world. Hey, steam is good. It means I've got a hot pan. 
we're going to uh, top that off with the two cups of beef stock, a bit of seasoning, just some thyme, a couple of teaspoons and two bay leaves. You want the meat to be covered, so that means we get to get we get to add more Guinness. Okay then. All the way to the top. We're gonna make sure there's a simmer and then it goes in the oven and you leave it alone, you don't touch it for three hours and it's gonna come out super tender. That's right, three hours. Check it out! Ooh la la! This really needs to cool off before you can put it in the fridge. You can put the Dutch oven in an ice bath. You could leave it outside. I can't leave food outside because we have bears. But what I can do My shovel is too wet for my door. <laughs> okay, come here. This is not an approved technique, by the way. Okay. Hey, let's roast some garlic. That's gonna go with our side dish. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes with chives and roasted garlic. So cut off the top, put some oil on there and put it in the oven. And then it comes out nice and brown and hot. Okay, so now I've got the, uh, the meat that I braised last night. Some of the short ribs, I separated the bone from the short rib. It was super easy, it slides off when it's warm. And here I separated the braising liquid, the Guinness and the stock. The fat rises to the top. We don't want that, we're gonna get rid of it. It looks like that. I got rid of 95% of the fat and now we're just going to warm it up and it's gonna become liquid again. So I didn't get all the short ribs because it was late and I was lazy, but I really should have because when they're warm, the bone just slides right off here there's this membrane that keeps the bone attached to the meat and it hardens when it cools. So now I have to use a knife and do all this stuff and get the bone off and take the membrane out because you don't want to eat that. Yeah, that's a lot more work than it should have been. So anyway, now I've got all my pieces of beef. They look like this. Each short rib, I get uh, two nice chunks out of that. And in the oven it goes, it's gonna warm back up until I'm ready to serve it. Here's my garlic, it comes out of the oven. It's hot. Hot garlic. Okay, so see it's nice and, and toasted and it's going to be sweet and delicious. And it's gonna go in the mashed potatoes. Uh, I'm still working on my sauce, so I'm straining it because uh, there's just some little chunks of bacon and stuff in there and I want a, a smooth jus, uh, if you will. Here's some chives. Those are gonna go in my mashed potatoes. Uh, look out! <laughs> oh yeah, dude, play it one more time. I am such a dork. Yeah, let's do that in slow motion. Come on. Oh, nice catch, man. Nice catch. Okay, that was fun. We can resume our normal programming now, maybe. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Why not? You almost dropped something, so why don't you stack up some spuds like some goofy root vegetable juggling culinary circus acrobat guy. No Guinness was consumed prior to the making of this dish, by the way. Wine, maybe. All right, some potatoes, we peel them and then we cut them in small dice. Because small dice potato is the secret 
to yummy mashed potatoes. They cook evenly, they get creamy. All right, we're gonna chop up that garlic that I made. It's gonna go in there. I've got a third of a cup of cream. Third of a cup of cream. There it goes. About one tablespoon of the garlic if you have extra. Keep it, put it in a salad or something. And now I've got my potatoes which I boiled for about eh, 20, 25 minutes. Four ounces of butter, which I'm gonna cut into small dice. Three, four ounces. Yep. Cut it up. Small dice of buttery, creamy goodness, salt and pepper, of course. And now we're going to go to work with our potato ricer. Go for it. That's a workout. Yeah. Alright, it's a little bit, they're a little bit too solid, so I'm adding a quarter cup of milk. And that's it. And now I'm reserving all this in an oven safe dish. They're going to uh, go right next to my uh, covered up short ribs and keep nice and warm until I'm ready to play. Now I've got my strained braising roasting juices. They go in a pan and I'm adding some uh, diced carrot and pearl onions. Just going to heat that up until it simmers but I don't want it to reduce anymore I've got about two cups of jus right there and uh, I want for the carrot and the onion to cook very slowly I'm gonna cover that up once it simmers and keep it on low all right look at this now I've got my short ribs they're steamy steamy is good all right I made some green beans maybe in some other show I'll give you my secret for green beans Curly loves them so I make them all the time it's nice to have a green vegetable next to all this beefy decadence have a balanced meal have some green vegetables so there it is okay now we're plating oh yeah Final little touch, a little bit of the jus, right on top of the short ribs, like that. Okay, a little bit more, like that, yeah. And then you remember those chives you almost dropped? It would be really too bad not to use them. So there are some in the mashed potatoes already, a little bit more on top. And here you are, Guinness braised short ribs. Enjoy! <music> 